Now that we've got the flywheel and the fan belt back into the position, we want to determine the tightness of the belt. This particular belt with a, with a pressure on the side indicates that we're getting a, quite a loose belt. Also, the shininess of the side, the polishing of the belt, will also indicate that we're getting a little slipping. If you see the difference in the ratio between the fan and the crankshaft, the fan is actually running twice the RPM of the engine upwards. So we're, we're causing a lot of drag by the, the belt, the um, fins here and everything, the blades, and we're creating quite a load against this belt. So we want to be sure again that it is tight enough to drive. This one again is loose enough to adjust. So what we do is we take our fixation tool that we talked about earlier and um, apply it to the fan. And we take our wrench and we loosen the bolt that holds the fan on. What we'll see inside is that the fan will run against the belts or there will be a washer uh, running against the belt at that point. We also have here shims, a number of shims that are applied to the shaft. By changing the distance between this half and this half, we can tighten the belt and force it out further and actually tighten the belt. So in this instance, we want to remove a washer and then reapply the belt. Now, we don't want to torque the fan against the belt. So we will take the belt out of the way. We'll put the fan back into place. We'll put our washer back on our nut with our fixation tool. Again, we will apply it and tighten the nut. And you will torque that to the specification in your operator's manual. Now that we've got that off, We will again want to reapply the belt in the normal rotation. I've marked this belt with the rotation that I wanted to put it in on the belt. And then by starting it on one of the fins, we can start it on to the engine. Now the belt will be a little tighter at this point, so we'll have to go through a little sequence here of starting the pulley onto the flywheel. The way we do that is we go ahead and start one of the bolts, snug it up just a little bit, and then by rotating the crankshaft, we get to a point where we can get that pulley to go into place. We'll remove the bolt and put the starter cup back into position. These bolts also will have a torque specification. Once all the bolts are retorqued in place, we now again will check that we get the proper tension. And that again is in the operator's manual that you got with your engine.